Hey everybody, what's going on? It's OGK here and today I'm recording a video about breeding axes for a profit in Axie Infinity. Now I'm sure some of you have heard about breeding in the past. Uh, some of you may have had good experience, may have had bad experiences, but I'm here to share a couple best practices on how you can make the most profit uh, in the marketplace today. Uh, and that is now with Axie Origins in season number one. Now at the top of the screen here, you can see that I have two axes that are labeled as Pocky Pair. Now these two have already been identified as a good uh, pair of axes for breeding. Um, and, and you might notice a couple different things on them. As I load them into our Axie Tech breeding simulator, um, I'll kind of talk through them. So on this first axe here, um, the part that's not really desirable on it is the timber. And that's really what enabled us to be able to purchase this Axie for a cheap price. Um, now, one of the benefits of breeding is that you're able to actually make meta axes uh, for a much lower cost than what you might be able to get a, an Axie for on the marketplace. Um, now, there are a couple different reasons for breeding. Maybe you want to invent a new meta, uh, maybe you're trying to save a little bit of money or maybe you're just trying to actually make profit um, You can do all of these things through breeding But like I said the reason that we picked up this one with timber is because it's going to be a lot cheaper than actually buying uh, An axi that has all of the right parts. Uh, I believe a pocky beast actually comes in at like a point oh eight uh, Ethereum and we were able to pick up these two axes much much cheaper if we go in here you can see uh, we got one axi for 0 0.012, which is the one with goldfish. And then the one with timber here, we were also able to pick that one up. Uh, that one was a little bit more expensive at a 0 0.53. But in total cost, we're at 0 0.06, uh, maybe 6, 0.065. And ideally, we're going to turn out at least you know one or two potential axes uh, that are gonna be all of the parts that we're looking for um, Now you can see since we've loaded up the axes into the axi tech breeding simulator um, You actually have a breakdown of all of the parts. So um, we're at 87.5% little peas, which is what we want innocent lamb 85% So that looks good. The back is where we get a little bit messy uh, We have goldfish on there and hero and Ronin would be the top three options uh, so adding those three together, what are we? We're at about 45, 46. We're almost at 50% to hit the back. So that's going to be the part that we're most uh, most concerned about. But even still, at 50%, we got a pretty good chance. Confident coming in at 46, almost 47%. Axie Kiss is still a good result, and so is Goda. So only a 3% chance of miss here on the mouth. Uh, on the horn card, we got 56% Pocky. We also have 3% Dual Blade, 3% Little Branch. So we're coming in at about 60%. So the horn is the, uh, the second part that we're most kind of concerned about. But all of the other four parts look strong, as you can see, 87.5% on the Cottontail. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go in and we're going to breed these axes out three times uh, and get some nice new eggs. Like I said, we're hoping to hit at least two of them. So once you go ahead and load these two into the breeding simulator and you go ahead and click breed, uh, you will actually get a little pop-up in the right-hand side where you need to confirm the transaction on your Ronin wallet. Once you go ahead and do that, you will get this nice little screen that comes up with a heart and says an egg will be delivered to you soon. Now you can go to activities and it will tell you what you tried to do, or you could just actually go back uh, and just get back to the screen by using the back button on your computer. Now, the breed count doesn't always update, but I ensure you that it has actually gone through. So we're going to go ahead and follow up with our second breed. Uh, you can see that the SLP costs have changed here. Uh, so that's kind of an indication of how we know that our breed has gone through previously. So we'll go ahead with breed number two. There it is, and that's going to be for these frontline beasts that are still really popular here in season number one. We're trying to make a couple of them. There's a second one that's gone through. It cost us $49.50 SLP, so we're going to have one more. We can go back to our axes. 
go to our inventory here. You can see we're at 189 axes at the moment. The first egg has popped through. The second one hasn't come up yet, but I'm sure it will very shortly. That is not the right one to breed. That's a different axie. I need to breed these two. We got this guy with the Pocky and the Axie Kiss, and we are gonna breed it with the Goldfish that has a Confident. Both have Inno Lamb. Here we go, breed number three. And you can see we have the exact amount of SLP that we needed. Shout out to Hantau and Stark for putting together this little breeding program for the Axie community. Shout out to Axie for uh, helping to put this on as well. Um, and you can see now that we should have done all three of the breeds that we were looking for. We go back in, only one egg appears through, but if we continue to refresh, these eggs are gonna pop up. There's our second egg. We got uh, ID number, what is that? 11,576,006. And ID number 11,576,007. And then there should be one more. Is it gonna be number eight? Did we get all three in a row? We did get all three in a row. I've never actually been able to do that before, but there we go. So 6,006, 6,007, 6,008. Those are all bred. Now one key point that I wanna hammer home is that at the end, after you finish breeding, Make sure that you sell off your parents, okay? Sell off the parent axes uh, because you don't want to leave those in your inventory and just have them sit because we know when axes sit, they'll typically lose value over time. Um, reason for that is because the meta continues to shift. Uh, we're probably going to be seeing some balance changes here in the near, fu near future. So Inno Lamb might, might be affected. Maybe Confident will be affected. So what we want to do is we want to actually get rid of these axes as quickly as possible. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and list them off. Uh, we got him for 0, 1, 2. So maybe we will list it for, let's sell it at an auction. Let's uh, let's list it for, let's see, it's Saturday today. Saturday will be a decent day for sales. Sunday will be an okay day for sales. And then Monday, obviously start of the week, not the best day for Axie sales. So maybe we'll list it for two days. And we'll put the start price at, uh, for this one, uh, let's go with 0, 2, uh, let's go three, four, just to keep the numbers nice. And we will actually let it go down to zero. Uh, sell as auction, confirm. You're about to list your Axie for more than 30% before the current floor, which is very interesting. I've never seen this, uh, this notification pop through before. This is a new safety security measure uh, within the Axie ecosystem. Um, but yes, we are sure we are fine to let this guy go. Hopefully he goes for closer to the zero, two, three, four. But uh, if he doesn't, that's fine. So right now he started off at $38. He will go down to zero. And then I will go back and I will sell off the other Axie as well. Um, this one, I won't let it go to zero. As you can see here, we got it for zero, five, three. So maybe we'll go uh, sell at auction. We want two days again on this one and this will be zero five nine four We'll start it off with and we'll go down to zero Let's do zero two nine four. How does that sound? That sounds good to me All right, so hopefully somebody grabs this one as well and you can see he's at 97 He's not gonna go at 97, but he should go somewhere before the zero two nine he does have good moves. All the moves are good with the exception of the timber. So um, that's why we're trying to breed that away. Um, we can go back into our axes here. Bear with me a sec. Get back into the inventory. And you can see here we can get a breakdown of the parents if you guys wanted to see even further. But um, there you have it. That's how easy it is to breed these axes. Um, we only need one of these axes to hit to basically pay off the breeds here. So. Um, fingers crossed and uh, we'll be back with another video in a couple days to, uh, to give an update on how these eggs go. Hope everybody enjoyed and we will talk again soon. Peace.